Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, Mr. MathBlog and this is Writing Inequalities. So here's our, our common core strand for our most awesome teachers. And our question here is how can we use inequalities to represent uh, uh, real world situations? Okay, let's get started here. So an inequality, you guys, is a math sentence or um, uh, a math equation, sort of like, but it's not an equation, it's an inequality. Uh, but it's, you treat it just like an equation. Uh, that has less than symbols or greater than symbols here below we have in this box right here less than or equal to or greater than or equal to so so this first one right here is, is a less than symbol okay this is a less than symbol this is a greater than symbol less than or equal to means we're going to include the number and this one would be greater than or equal to okay so if you see is less than you might see phrases like that say fewer than or below greater than would be uh, like more than or above less than or equal to is at most or no more than and then greater than or equal to would be at least or no less than okay we'll come back to those in just a second all right so the lowest temperatures ever recorded in florida was minus two degrees fahrenheit so graph this temperature on a number line. So we're going to go ahead and graph um, uh, minus 2 with a dot right there, uh, right there, okay? And then so the next uh, part says the temperature is 0 degrees, 3 degrees, 6 degrees, 5 degrees, and negative 1 degrees Fahrenheit also have been recorded in Florida. That's pretty cold, like the snowman says right there. So, so graph these temperatures. So here's 0, okay? Here is uh, 3, here's 6, here's 5. Finally, here's negative 1, and so this part's going to ask, how do those temperatures in B compare to the negative 2? Okay, well, look, they're all to the right. All those blue dots are all to the right, so they're, they're greater than, so they're all greater than negative 2, and they're all to the right. So how many other numbers have the same uh, relationship to negative 2 as the temperatures in B? Okay, so the temperatures in B were all of these numbers. So 0, 3, 6, 5, and negative 1. 0, 3, 6, 5, and then negative 1. How many others are to the right of this? Well, here's one to the right. 1 is, 2 is, 4 is, 7 is, 8 is, but even the decimals, they're all to the right. So there's infinitely many numbers that are greater than negative 2, and there's some just some examples right there. It did say give some examples. Okay, so here's section E. Okay, suppose we could graph all possible answers to D on the line. What would that graph look like? Well, remember, it was infinitely many, so how can we graph all of those? It would be a ray, a ray which means shaded to the right of negative 2, but we're not including negative 2, uh, all the ones that are greater than negative 2, so something like that. How could we write that? X is greater than negative 2, okay? So this graph is an open circle at negative 2 because we're not including negative 2. If we were including negative 2, it would be a closed circle or a solid circle. It would be something like that. Okay, we're going to have some examples coming up with that. So we're going to use uh, closed circles for inequalities with greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. And then we'll use open circles that have less than or just greater than. All right, so here, here's a, um, a less than or equal to. So that means we're going to use a a closed circle right here okay so let's go ahead and do a closed circle on negative three okay so when we do that there it is and then if your variable is on the left like here the y is on the left you guys then that means the inequality says points in the direction that we're going to shade so we're going to shade that way because that's the way the inequality is shading right there, okay? So that's the trick right there. So to check, it says to check the solution. And just pick a number on the shaded part right there, like like negative 4. Negative 4 is on that shaded part. And sub it in for y. Is negative 4 less than negative 3? Well, sure. I'd rather have negative $3 than negative $4. Now, you know, negative is like, you know, how much money do you owe? Anyway, so negative um, uh, 4 is less than negative 3. Negatives kind of work backwards. No, not kind of. They do work backwards with inequalities. All right, 1 is greater than m. Okay, so open circle on 1 because it's just greater than. Now check this out, you guys. 1 is, uh, did I say greater than m? 1 is less than m. 1 is less than m is the same as m is greater than 1. And what I did is I just flipped them around because if the variable's on the left, then the inequality points which way we should be shading. It's pointing to the right right there. 
okay and then notice um, notice uh, uh, here the inequality is pointing towards the the one right there so if it's pointing towards the one just make sure it's pointing towards the one over there sorry my little cursor is being weird on me all of a sudden so anyway so we're gonna shade it to the right right there so check it so let's just pick a number so I'll pick two because two is uh, in that region so is and then put it back in the original equation is one less than two if we plugged in two for M yes it is so it does work so recall we can write one is less than M is the same as M is greater than one right there so uh, then if the variable is on the left then the inequality as long as the variable is on the left the inequality tells us which way to shade it points in that direction that we shade right there how is uh, X less than five different from X less than or equal to five okay so if X is less than five then we don't include five and then when we graph that we do an open circle right there and it would go to the left when X is less than or equal to five five is included so we do a closed circle or a solid circle all right, so let's write some inequalities so for some application problems. Here we go. So write an inequality that represents the phrase the sum of five, I'm sorry, the sum of y and two. Where did I get five? Oh, I see where I got five. The sum of y and two is greater than five. Okay, let's color code this. The sum of y and two, I'll do that in blue, is greater than, I'll do that in purple, five, I'll do that in red. So there's y plus two greater than would be a greater than symbol five. Okay, so let's put that over here. Now, when I'm in my math class, I say treat this just like an equation. How would we get rid of this plus 2? Would we do minus 2? So if we minus 2 here, we've got a minus 2 on that side also. So it's just like an equation, and then the 2's cancel, and we get y is greater than 3. Open circle on 3, and since y is on the left-hand side, the inequality says go in this direction right here. Okay, so... Uh, here's the inequality. It says go that way. So we're going to shade that way because that's the direction the inequality goes. Again, the variable has to be on the left right there. All right. And then so if we're going to check that, just sub in a number that's greater than 3, like 4. So if we plugged in 4, is 4 plus 2 greater than 5? Yeah, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is greater than 5. Okay. So in the original equation. All right, so here's another one. So to test the temperature ratings of a coat, the scientists keep the temperature that's below 5 degrees, right in graph uh, Celsius, right in graph and inequality to represent this, okay? So the temperature must be less than 5, so that's just a less than symbol. T is less than 5, and so there's an open circle right there, and then since T is on the left, then we're going to shade it to the left because that's the way the inequality points. Okay, how about this? So, so the sum of 1 and y, sum is uh, addition, so 1 plus y, is greater than or equal to, so we're going to use a greater than or equal to uh, symbol with uh, 3. Okay, so there's the sum of uh, 1 and y is greater than or equal to, okay, 3 right there. Okay, so, and it says uh, write the inequality. There's our answer for the inequality and check to see if 1 works. So plug in 1. Is 1 plus 1 greater than or equal to 3? Not that I've seen. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is not greater than or equal to 3. So be careful. All right, so the temperature in February was at most, at most 6 degrees. What's at most mean? Okay, remember in the beginning of the lesson, here's at most. The phrase at most means less than or equal to. For example, I'm at most 57. So I'm 57 or less uh, 56 and a half. Anyways, so t is less than or equal to 6. Okay, that's the symbol we're going to use. And it does say, uh, tell what the variable represents. Well, what does t represent? t represents the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we're going to say. So the temperature in, uh, in degrees Fahrenheit. So close circle on 6. So when we graph that and shaded to the left. All right, you guys. Hey, Speedy Gonzalez says he can do at least as much math as you can. So Speedy Gonzalez is going to be greater than or equal to two. All right, you guys. Hope you're having a good, fantastic wrap-up of your year. Take care.